sino ang etos sa'yo? Well, it's uh, my age. I'm two years enough. Uh, back then, I joined not really oriented about pageants because it was just my first time. I actually joined three pageants all in all. Uh, it's two pageants, which is, this is the second time nationally. And the uh, second one was in internationally in Thailand. Okay. Well, I'm having gone through this, I might as well ask because as you may be aware, yes. the connotation of male pageantry is not very pretty yes. here in the Philippines. So, in your experience, how were you able at least to, if it, to evolve it or at least improve the what the uh, perception of, image. the image or boost the image Perfect. of the competition? I try to boost the image of male pageantry simply by being a role model myself. Um, I present myself well and I try to keep away from any controversial action. Okay. Other thing is, of course, as you know, Mr. World and like any other competitions, social media is a big factor, yes. a big component. And I know a lot of you gentlemen will be dropping by on Friday. I yes. might as well ask in advance. I'm looking forward. So uh, I'm sorry, Rappler. Tommy Rappler for yes. the social media workshop. So I'm asking this in advance. How do you plan to promote social media? Our battle cry every year. How do you promote social media for social media? Um, I don't know social media for social media. Simply by being responsible in how we use it. Because it is a very it has a very huge effect, especially to the youth, which, which are the ones who use it frequently. So, I would like to promote social media by trying to make it a platform for me to inspire others, inspire things, and use it as a to express know, and motivate others. Tatanong mo na lahat ng tanong. Okay, kaya mo yan. Ano, um, sige, ano na lang. Ah, ganito. Since you, you're, you're considered as a veteran uh, in, pa, in pageantry, in male pageantry, uh, ano, ting, ano sa tingin mo yung edge mo among other candidates? And uh, how will you use those experience in joining this First year? First of all, um, the experience is the edge. And second of all, I believe I possess the true Filipino look which best represents Mr. Philippines because most of, as you can see, some of my competitors are half Filipino. I believe I have a true Filipino look and that can compete internationally. Okay, my, no, I forgot to ask because, you know, I would like to know, is there anybody in particular that you look up to from any of our male title holders who have competed in the past? <coughs> Andrew Wolf would be one of the ones that I look up to because he has given us the first runner up for Mr. World. And when I look up to someone, I would like to be better than so, that someone. So I would like to give Philippines uh, the Mr. World. Wait, as an offshoot to her question yeah. Kanina regarding social media, yeah. do you think that social media plays a crucial role nowadays in propelling a, 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 the candidacy of the contestant in the yes, actually, international arena? Yeah, yes, I believe so because uh, it, it boosts the fans, the fan base person. So that's my kind of one. Can you, um, can you describe yourself in three adjectives? Oh, and Galino, no? I am uh, hardworking. Yeah. Motivated and passionate. Why should you be the next Mr. World Philippines? I should be the next Mr. World Philippines because, again, I believe I best represent the true Filipino gentleman. And I believe. I have what it takes to conquer the Mr. World arena. Thank you so much for I, that wonderful Last question. I, I, I am with Spence Valencia and I am blank. I am Wilfred Placentia. And I am blank. And I am your next Mr. World Philippines. Nice. I love the confidence.